Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time. I'm so glad you're here with me. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well and you had a great weekend this weekend. Um, uh, and I hope you got to do some fun things with your grown-ups and your family. Um, let's do our counting, okay? Yesterday was the number 21. What do you think comes after 21? Hmm. All right, let's count and see if you're right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, 22. Let's now count in Spanish. All right, uno, Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, diez ocho, diez nueve, veinte, veinte uno, veinte dos. Good work. It's been a while since we've had to count that high, has, isn't it? Yeah. All right, friends, we are going to work on a new letter this week. And this week, the letter makes the sound p -p -p, like pop. <laughs> All right, it's the letter p, p. The P says p. The P says p. Every letter makes a sound. The P says p. Yeah, like popcorn. Do you like to eat popcorn? I do. I think I'm gonna make some popcorn for myself tonight. That sounds like a good treat. <laughs> um, let's see, here's a little poem for you for the letter P. It's Paula had a party. Paula had a party and I think you'll agree that a lot of attention was paid to P. Poodles and polar bears paraded by. Penguins and par parakeets came to fly. Penguins splashed around in Paula's pool. People drank purple juice just to keep cool. Peaches and pears were served on plates. The peanuts and popcorn tasted just great. Paula played the piano ever so proud. Tell Paula, Panda played the piano, <laughs> ever so proud. Till Paula shouted, you're playing too loud. Then Paula looked around, her place was a mess. She was tired of pee, she needed a rest. Please leave the party, Paula said. Then she turned off the lights and went to bed. All right, it's a cute little poem and there's so many P words. Some of them are Paula and party and pool and poodles, penguins and parade and parakeets, penguins, pandas, peanuts, peaches. Oh my goodness, so many things. You'll have to look at it and um, see if you can find all the P words, okay? All right, let's see if some of these, my P words here, are in that. Was the word p pig in there? I don't remember. And p parachute. Have you ever seen the parachutes um, here in Shelton? We have a place called Kapausen Skydiving that um, they take people up in an airplane and they let them jump out with a parachute. It's so crazy. I've been able to watch them do that a few times. 
Oh, this one was in our poem, a panda bear. Panda bear. And what is this called? A pan. And this is a plant. Yeah. And a penguin. All right. Good work, you guys. Um, so I wanted to let you know that we are going to start a new study. We did a study on signs and we talked about shapes and colors and all kinds of different stuff and talked about where we can find signs and what they mean. Um, but we're gonna switch and we're gonna do a study on pets. So if you were on our Zoom call last night, you already know this, but we are gonna do a, a study on pets and I wonder, do you have a pet? Hmm, I have a pet. Hey, I have a dog named Yukon. He is a turkey sometimes, but <laughs> he is a fun, fun pet to have. Um, let me show you a picture of him really quick. Okay, can, can you see him? That is Yukon. He's playing in the river. We went fishing at the river and he likes to wade around in the water um, just a little bit and explore. But that's Yukon and he's a husky. Um, do you have a pet? I wanna hear about your pets or see pictures. Maybe your grown-ups can post a picture of you and your pet in the, um, in the comments, I would love that, okay? Um, so we're gonna talk more about pets in the next few weeks, okay? Um, but I wanna read you a book right now. We This month we've talked about a little bit that it is dental health month, right? So we're talking about our teeth and how, how when we eat, the sugar bugs come out and they like to um, stick on our teeth and we have to brush our teeth and floss our teeth in order to get rid of the sugar bugs, right? Well, I have a story about a walrus and they have these huge teeth called tusks. And so we're gonna read a story called Tooth Trouble, all right? And this is by Jane Clark and Cecile Johansson. They wrote the book and did the pictures. All right, let's see what tooth trouble is about. Looks like these walruses live where it is really snowy and cold, doesn't it? Oh, here we have more, more, and uh, more about who wrote the book. It says written by Jane Clark. So Jane wrote the the words and the story, and it's illustrated by Cecile. So she did the pictures. All right, let's turn you a little bit. Wilbur and his mother were crunching their way through a huge pile of shellfish. Ow, said Wilbur, my tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Mrs. Walrus says. I don't wanna go to the dentist, said Wilbur. My tusk only hurts when I crunch, said Wilbur. If I take off the shells, I can just slurp them. Have some seaweed, said Mrs. Walrus. It's nice and soft. Ugh, said Wilbur. I don't want to eat seaweed. It's green and slimy. Then you'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Walrus. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Wilbur's friends were tusk wrestling. Wilbur loved tusk wrestling. He locked tusks with his friend, Walter. Whomp! Ow! yelled Wilbur. My tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Walter said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. I wonder why he doesn't want to go to the dentist. My tusk only hurts when I wrestle, said Wilbur. Let's play the ice slide with Wanda. 
Wanda, Wilbur, and Walter whooped, swooped down the slide. Splash! They somersaulted into the sea. That was great! Let's do it again, Walter said. Walter poked his tusk into the ice and pulled himself up onto the ice floe. Wanda poked her tusk into the ice and pulled herself up onto the ice floe. Wilbur poked his tusk into the ice and, Ow! yelled Wilbur. My tusk hurts! You'll have to go to the dentist, said Wanda. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Oh man, he's having a really hard time with this tusk. I'll swim to Grandpa's, Wilbur said. It's easy to get out there. He's got a landing slope. It was a long way to Grandpa's. Wilbur's tusk hurt in the cold water. He pulled himself up Grandpa's landing slope and laid there moaning. Oh, he says. Tisk tisk, said Grandpa. He put his finger around Wilbur's shoulder and his flipper around Wilbur's shoulder and helped him up onto the ice floe. What's the matter? My tusk hurts, Wilbur said. His, whispers, his whiskers quivered. You'll have to go to the dentist, Grandpa said. I don't want to go to the dentist, Wilbur said. Grandpa smiled. Neither did I, he said. Look at Grandpa's tusk. What happened? It broke, it looks like, huh? Mrs. Walrus waddled up the landing slope towards them. Walter and Wanda said, I've, I'd find you here, she said. Is your tusk still hurting? Yes, said Wilbur. I'll have to go to the dentist. Finally, said Mrs. Walrus. Dr. Tusker, the dentist, was very gentle. I see what the problem is, she said. You've got a piece of shell stuck in the top of your tusk. There, I've taken it out. What That feels much better, said Wilbur. If you brush your tusk twice a day, with this special fish-flavored toothpaste, your tusk will be strong and shiny, said Miss Dr. Tusker. She gave Wilbur a sticker. It said, I brush my tusk. <laughs> now, said Grandpa, I wish I had tusks like yours. Dos Dr. Tusker will make you a false tusk, said Wilbur. She'll have to go, you'll have to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Grandpa, said Wilbur. He put his flipper around Grandpa's shoulder. If I can go to the dentist, you can go to the dentist. The end. I wonder if Grandpa went to the dentist. Do you think he did? I hope so. Yeah, it must be hard to be a walrus and only have one tusk because they use that a lot, don't they? All right, friends, that's our circle time for today. I hope you had fun, and I will see you again tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, you guys.